The Corn Ferry Tour is the stepping stone to the ultimate level of golf. Two Shore Conference products took that step and earned PGA Tour cards in 2024. Little Silver's Chris Goderham and Middletown's Ryan McCormick both finished in the top 30 to earn full-time status next year on the PGA. We caught up with the duo when the Corn Ferry Tour stopped in New Jersey in August. Both golfers finished eight under par at the Magnet Championship in Jackson. At the time, Goderup was 35th on the points list with McCormick in 20th. It's a grind. Um, every week, uh, you know, someone's shooting some ridiculous number and uh, yeah, um, you know, I, I'm just keeping my keeping what I can do and trying to eliminate as many bogeys as possible, but um, yeah, just grinding it out. Goderup did just that as he vaulted 12 spots over the final five weeks to finish 23rd, sealing his spot on tour with a birdie on 18 at the Corn Ferry Tour Championship in Indiana. With his brother Patrick on the bag as his caddy, the Goderup family was understandably emotional knowing how hard it is to reach the PGA. <laughs> that was so awesome. Let's go. Easy game. Sometimes. I like to call the Jersey sports zone effect, you know, one under easy birdies. Yeah, that's, hey, you're a good luck charm. I, we, gotta, we gotta have you tag around with us. The 2017 state champ from CBA went on to four stellar years at Rutgers and a fifth year at Oklahoma that saw him win National College Golfer of the Year. He got his tour card in just one year. He's considered a potential superstar on the PGA Tour. He led the Corn Ferry Tour in driving distance and birdies. His college accomplishments gave him a taste of the PGA Tour in 2022 when he won over $500,000 in prize money highlighted by a top five finish at the John Deere Classic. That's what I'm grinding for, you know, the chance to just uh, showcase my stuff on the best level. I, you know, I've had a taste of it, which makes it um, even more, um, you know, meaningful for me. McCormick's path is very different. A 2012 graduate of modern day prep, Ryan went on to win a Big East championship at St. John's University. From raising money to play early in his pro career to falling just short of making the PGA a year ago, McCormick finally gets his chance to play with the world's best after 10 years of professional golf. It's definitely been a challenge the last couple years, ending the way it has. I mean, that's why we all play out here. That's why I work so hard to, to be able to have that opportunity. So I'm looking forward to um, that opportunity here. McCormick is one of the last athletes from modern day prep that is still competing and is proud to represent the now defunct school. You know, holds a special place in my heart. It was probably the best four years of uh, my schooling and athletic life. A lot of great memories there. So, um, you know, happy to keep the, the modern day name alive. A third New Jersey native, Ryan Greiserman, who played high school golf at Petty, earned his PGA Tour card, finishing ninth on the Corn Ferry Tour. New Jersey has a great golf community and now has a trio of up and comers on the PGA Tour. Reporting for Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Rich Crampanis.